you're playing guys like that, I mean, if you're executing, it's at the end of the day, it's just football. So I mean, if you can uh, execute the way you want to, and like I said, uh, be detailed with your craft, I mean, you can still have success. I mean, the guys like that, the, uh, or talented like that, they're going to cause you some issues no matter what. I mean, you see that at the NFL level all the time. No matter how much you scheme things up, guys like Miles Garrett are still going still to cause some problems for teams. But uh, just like I said, the level of execution and focus that it continues to take as you move up each level uh, just continues to grow. Is that the big difference you feel now going college to, to NFL? It's almost those same yeah. things, but almost times, I don't know, 500. For sure. <laughs> I mean, with the, like I said, the higher you go, the more focused and correct you have to be with everything you do because the more talented guys are the more they're going to expose you so you got to be right with everything you're doing two things that stick out to me about coach sean lewis he's tall and he's intense uh, how much has he helped prepare you for for this moment a ton i mean he, i've changed as a, as a man as a player uh, with him i mean him and honestly a bunch of the coaches on that staff helped me grow as a as a leader as a person as a football player i mean they were they were huge for me at my time at kent state and Honestly, just kind of looking back at who I was to compared to who I am now, it's it's kind of crazy almost just to look in the mirror and see the to see the change. I I wish I could go back and like see what I looked like or uh, kind of the way I spoke or just my mannerisms back then compared to now because I know it's a night and day difference. Matt quarterbacks. I mean, I think about Ben Roethlisberger, Byron Leftwich, but some guys from Kent State, you know, Josh Cribbs and Julian Edelman. They played your position. They went on to play different positions in the NFL. But the fact that you have that blueprint of not only Mac quarterbacks, but guys that have done it from Kent State. Does that help? I, I think so a little bit. I mean, obviously, like you said, they kind of took a different path. But just seeing guys that have kind of come from where you've come from and find a way to make it uh, and be successful is always encouraging. And kind of like you mentioned earlier with uh, me maybe being able to be that guy for Northeast Ohio kids growing up. Uh, just, I mean, guys at Kent State that have done it, whether it's the Edelmans, the Cribs, the James Harrisons, whoever it may be, just kind of having that role model and uh, being able to see it at work and uh, to have that confidence is huge. I watched you at the NFL Combine. Um, what was that whole experience like? Uh, I would say surreal, for sure. I mean, just getting to meet all those guys, compete with the best in the country. And uh, I mean, I consider myself a football junkie. So just to be able to talk and, like I said, interact with all the guys you have been watching the past three or four years make plays across college football was really cool. Getting to meet a lot of the other quarterbacks and some of the receivers and just, like I said, interact with all those guys was a lot of fun. Your times and your test scores, how things went, yeah. were, were, you, were you happy with it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I was I was pretty happy with it. I thought I tested pretty well. Um, probably I'd, I'm on the on the better side for most of my numbers. So I, I was I was really happy with them. What What have you heard about this this upcoming NFL draft? It's going to be in Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, have you gotten an idea from you know people that you're you're connected with, and if there's an agent or you know, is there people that have given you an idea of hey, you know, you could go here? I mean, team wise, not too sure yet. I mean, obviously with free agency the way that's been especially I mean everyone in Cleveland knows it how crazy it's been this offseason I mean kind of the dust still settling from that um, but I mean probably will be a late round undrafted guy and I mean honestly for the biggest thing especially for a quarterback is just finding the right fit finding a good coaching staff and a good offense where you fit the system and get in a place where you can make the team and make an impact for, for late round I mean obviously that'd be great but there's been stories of guys that go undrafted that go on to have nice careers I mean for you I if your name isn't called on, in you know one of the final few rounds, is it something you'll you'll just you know take in stride? Yeah, for sure. I mean, honestly, like I like I mentioned, kind of honestly, it might be better to go undrafted in some ways than be a seventh round type of guy because then you get to pick your fit, pick your roster that you get to try to make the team for. And uh, like I said, just getting that fit as a quarterback is huge. It's a huge first step to get on get on the field and make sure you're successful because you really only get one shot to crack a roster, maybe two if you're lucky. So get just getting in the right spots huge. What's Dustin Crumb's strength? Where do you really feel like, okay, you get drafted by an NFL team or you're an undrafted free agent and you make a team, what do you really think you could bring? I would say uh, work ethic first and foremost and then just the ability to improve. I think at that level, any time where you kind of get stagnant at all is where you get passed up. And I think at my time at Ken, I really learned how to kind of hold myself accountable and self-reflect in ways that I'll constantly be able to improve my game and grow as a player and as a quarterback. If, if you pick up your phone on, on draft day and it's Andrew Barry or Kevin Stefanski, you'll pick it up, right? You'll pick up yeah. the call. Yeah, I won't be, I won't be <laughs> upset about that, no. <laughs> but what would it be like if the you go from Midview High School to Kent State to the Cleveland Browns? That would be a very local feel. Yeah, yeah it would kind of come full circle almost, but it'd be, it'd be really cool, uh, like you mentioned. Uh, I mean, just any opportunity, I would be extremely blessed and grateful for. Uh, but one like that would definitely be special.